before, like to before, bro. Under? Before for the before. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do it. Yes, sir. It's another one. Right, roll. Yes, sir. Mm. Woo! Oh, yeah. That, was, that reminds me of last week. Right, I'm Keep ready. it natural. We're good? All right, so let's go. Welcome back to a special Friday episode to the most organic, most original podcast, a Tulsa Live podcast. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have like 30 people in here, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> applause. You see the applause. sign that says applause now? <laughs> applause now. <laughs> Yo, this is honestly, I was thinking about this on the way here, a special one because it's a hometown native. Yes, sir. With at the Daily Planet Barbershop with the one and All only. Park. Oh, Wait. in Ballin Park with the one and only Aldo. Let's give it up, baby. Sir. Yes, sir. How's it living, big guy? Chilling, man. I was kind of nervous for this. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? It's I'm chilling a- now. I got a shot in. I feel one, a little good now. Only feel one. A good now. I, want, I want everybody to know it's only a one shot type of thing. Oh, what? That's it. Oh, well. Y, y para la casa. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's wrap it up. Then. <laughs> Fuck. The lights are on. Let's go. Go. So no, I am. Then I want to. I want to let you know that this podcast is to shine light and give flowers to the people actually doing it, making a move, not fitting the, not being complacent with life. Yeah. Like yo, I'm just gonna give you this, and you better do it. You wanted more. Yeah, man. I think I think you have to have that type of mentality, especially in California, bro. California's tough. That's one. It's, it's tough, you know what I mean? But just in life, you have to have a drive, something that pushes you, something that keeps you going, you know, something to look forward to. Facts. Um, if you don't, I mean, shit, what are you doing, you know what I mean? So at what what age did you tell yourself, yo, I don't, I don't want to be just an employee anymore? I want to I wanna own something. Uh, I was like 20, I believe. How old are you right now? 25. I just turned 25 last week, so. Happy late birthday. Drop thank those you, comments. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. I was, I did, we didn't get an invite. <laughs> I just want to hey, let you know the podcast you know didn't get an invite. <laughs> the podcast is a great time, man. We, you know, the people that got an invite didn't even show up, so. So you don't, you, you shouldn't feel that bad. Turn the camera towards my boy over there. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Um, I ended up celebrating it super last minute, like. I'm talking, it started happening at 7, and at 5, I set it all up. Like, super last minute. Turned out good. Turned out really good. But So why, why the celebration, though? Uh, 25, man. It's a quarter, quarter century. Quarter you know of what century. I mean? Quarter of a century. I didn't want to do nothing. My sister, she, she's like my mom. Yeah. So she's the one that was like, she wanted to take me to Mama Por Dios. I don't know if you guys heard of that. Ooh. <clears throat> she wanted to take me to Mama Por Dios. should have gone. I live right by there. So me, me this, and the person that didn't go live right by there. <laughs> so that's the thing. That's the thing I was telling her. I'm like, because she's like, yo, it's going to be me, you know, um, my brother-in-law, which is her husband, uh, my niece, her daughter, her man. She's like, you can invite a couple homies. And in my head, I'm like, damn, I'm just thinking about the bill. Like, you know what I mean? That's going to be over 1000 bucks, 1500 no problem, with 10 people, 14 people going. But were you going to take care of that or are you going to spend it? Well, that's it? the thing. I don't want my family to spend that. You know Ooh. what I mean? I'm like, I told her, I was like, nah, you know what? Let's let's scratch that. And uh, originally, I had said, let's go bowling. Like, with 300 bucks, we all bowl all night. We bowl all night, drink all night. We're chilling. 300 bucks. 15 nice. people. So in my head, I was like, let's just go bowling. That, that'll be better, you know? And so we set up. At first, we had set up bowling. I called, reserved. I was about to pay. And then I think I was with Miguel when we were like, well, son, let's get some music. And I'm like, shit. Yeah. And I had a little extra cash because on Super Bowl, I want some money. So I was like, this was like, fuck you, you got it. I was like, damn, no, you're a bad influence. And since it was my birthday, I was already sipping. So oh. with the beer, you know, it gives you a little more I'm You like, got it started. You know what? I'm going to make moves. And I made some calls. And sure enough, hey, what's up? We're ready. So, how was, like, so how was the that feeling of celebrating with the people that showed up? Because I seen you the next day. Riding in that whip, <laughs> in the, in the, I scared him. We're down down the street, right here on Francisco. I was, I, was, <laughs> I went from whipping. So that's crazy. Um, we're dating back to your first question of how was it? Please, it felt good, man. It shows. Uh, it it showed me the love I, people have for me. 
Facts. And the the effect I have on people, because uh, a lot of people showed love, you know what I mean? On my birthday, um, after that whole week, I was just, people I, were just showing love. I saw people me, posting you, reposting yeah, you. Yeah, bro, to me, that was like, you. damn, okay, so... I'm not just a rate like an average Joe. I'm, I'm you know, Facts. I must be doing something right for people to show love like that. You know what I mean? Facts. Um, one of that that slingshot that you're talking about. One of my clients, shout out Sergio Calabasas. There we go. He makes up, no, not homeboy. I'm talking on a camera though. <laughs> <laughs> that's Justin. That's Justin. <laughs> now my boy Sergio Calabasas. You can follow him on Instagram. He makes teas and he's doing good for himself too. And and uh, I cut his hair. I've been cutting his hair for since. Since 2020. Thanks. And and I told him that I wanted to rent a razor at first, right? And he's like, but they're not even street legal. And I was like, fuck it, I don't care. Like, I never had a razor. I've never driven a razor. Like, I want to rent one. He's like, yeah. you ever seen a slingshot? I was like, what is that? Show me a picture. And he's like, yo, I'll rent it for you. No, no, no. He hit me up. He's like, I was like, how much is it? He's like, let me call my boy. So he called his boy, and his boy's like, yo, I'll give it to you for 100 bucks. And then it he's is. like, all right, book it. I'm going to rent it for my barber. And then I'm, like, cutting his hair, and I'm, like, what the fuck? Like, okay. In my head, I'm, like, well, 100 bucks is not bad, you know? Fact. And then he turns around. He's, like, yo, that's on me. He's, like, that's on me for your birthday. And I was, like, oh, shit. Like, for real? He's, like, yeah, bro, I got you. Don't trip. So let's talk about that. I think that's a great transition into you doing a lot for other people, and it's as simple as giving a haircut. Yeah. When people walk in, we look all heady on those. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we look like our that. level. Of- <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> and then you look like that. <laughs> <laughs> Our level of confidence walks in like, fuck, bro, just give me a hat. Cause, but when we walk out, the level of confidence went from being a, a low four to a high nine. We could take bro, on the world. Maybe even an 11, huh? Maybe. You so, know what? That's the thing, too, that you say that. Um, people come here and, you know, like you said, you come in all musty, no shave, no cut. Yeah. They leave, and that's one of the things that keeps me going. When you're walking out, and I see, I'm catching, I showed you the mirror before you left. Yeah. Catch people still looking at different mirrors like, damn. You know, on their way out. We still get in the car, and we're yeah, just like, let me put car. it on my I've story. Seen, hey, you know what? I've seen that from here. Like, I can see out. I've seen people, like, put down the, the, the little rear view mirror, and they're like, Whew, and then they put it up, and then they drive off. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, a little smile. Like, that. that makes me feel good like so damn, is, is that what barber, barbering has done for you yeah man you know how, what how long you been cutting uh i would say about five years now actually what's the best yeah. moment you ever had of being a barber damn you want to know the best moment best moment drop it on us all right we're going straight to uh yeah. straight to the good shit huh? got to be look because the people watching know and eh, for the most part they support the podcast yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and if you haven't yet you got to go subscribe right now drop uh-huh. a follow button on us on the barbershop, on the personal page, everything. But they're here to watch you, learn about you. Yeah. So we're only here for, when you get a cut, what are you, for an hour? If you got to wait, maybe an hour and a half? Mm-hmm. Not even that, because nowadays it's appointment-based. Well, I mean. Yeah, well, yeah, because you, I got to, <laughs> no I, I, I went to no. high school with them. I went to high school with them. <laughs> they stay here, but no tienen casa. Yeah, they come, they come with beer, you know <laughs> what I mean? I went to high school with them. These are my boys. Um, okay. So normally, definitely, especially definitely. like with Miguel, I'll, I'll 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 run their appointment for forty five minutes to an hour just to chill and kick it. I could cut Miguel's hair. What's the fastest I've cut your hair before? Ten minutes, twenty five thirty, quick. But I'm not even talking to him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just in the zone. Boom, boom, boom. Get yeah. out. You know what I mean? So your best moment, most satisfying moment, like you just kind of took a Yo, step so back. And you're like, when we were before we came here to this location, we were next door. Um, I was chopping up and I cut some dude's hair. I it was my first time meeting him. Sat down on my chair. I'm chopping him up. We're talking. I'm asking him questions. You know, trying to get to know the guy. And um, I started asking him questions. Like I forgot what I asked him, but we started talking about his family. Yeah. And uh, he was. I noticed that he was tearing up. Right. I didn't realize it until I felt bad because I didn't realize it until like tears were coming down and oh, he was shit. like like mocoso like you know what I mean and I was like oh shit like <laughs> I yeah. looked at him so I turned him around. To face the wall rather than facing the people. Yeah. And he was telling me that um, this guy, at the time, he was like 25. He was like 25 at the time. Um, he was telling me that his that his mom passed away a, a two weeks ago at the time, and his dad passed away a week before that. Right? And um, 
I don't, I don't remember if it was his mom first or his dad first, but both of his parents had passed away, and he was an only child. They had a house. Uh, he was going to UC Irvine, I remember he was telling me. UC Irvine full-time, and he was working at a movie theater part-time, right? Jesus. So he was telling me that his parents passed away, and and not only the fact that his parents passed away was enough, like, you know, a lot to deal with. They had a house that just so happened to fall on him. They had, you know different stuff that he needed to take care of eventually and he's like yo I don't I don't, I don't know, know what, what to, to do. do I'm an only child I don't have no I don't have no siblings like I got to put both of my parents in the ground that's hard as it is one maybe you know and then two is even worse yeah and um I must have taken I want to say I must have taken about an hour and a half on his haircut it was about an hour and a half we're just talking the whole time I gave him a towel cleared up a little bit he was able to talk a little more and um and at, at the end, I remember at the end, I, I I he got off the chair, and I don't know, I just felt weird charging him, you know? I said, you know what, hey, this one's on me, don't worry about it. Like, you got bigger shit to deal with than to pay me for a haircut. And he's like, no, 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 no. He, I remember he was getting a little upset with me. He's like, I didn't come here for sympathy. Like, mm. I didn't come here for that. Like, I'm going to pay you. And I'm like, nah, dog, like, yeah, it's cool. And I've never met the guy. I've never met him. And I'm like, nah, bro, it's all good. Like, I, your money's really no good to me. You need to handle what you got to handle, figure out what you got to figure out, and call it a day. I remember, I normally, you know, people that I know, I'll dap them up. Other clients, I'll peace out or whatever, or handshake. I remember I brought them in for a hug, or I brought them in for a a hug like that, a little half hug. I was going to give them a little half hug, and I felt him let go of my hand and hug me. And he hugged me tight, and I swear to you, bro, I choked up. I'm I'm like getting children, I'm about to choke up. He, He hugged me tight, and I was like, oh, shit. And then he's like, yo, thank you, bro. Like, I, I really needed, you know, to talk. Yeah. And I remember I, I choked up, bro. I was like, I was like, shit, okay, um, no, no problem, bro. You know, I'm, I'm glad that I could, I could, you know, offer, extend the, the, the uh, help for you, a hand for you, you know what I mean? An yeah. ear, actually. And he left. He left. I didn't see him for, like I said, I didn't know who he was. I didn't cut yeah. him up prior, so I didn't, it wasn't a, 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 a person who I would recognize. and stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah. And he came about three months, four months later. I remember I was where my chair was at. I was in the corner, and I can see the front door, right? And he was walking in with a big ass smile on his face, like "What's up?" And I'm like, "Oh shit, I remember who this guy is," you know? <laughs> yeah. So he walks up, and he was my appointment. So he sat down. He's like, "What's up?" He hugs me. He's like, "What's cracking? How you been?" I'm like, "Yo, you look good. Like, you know, what's good with you?" And he's like, "Yeah, man." He, um, he said that he he had he he had sold the house. Right, and he bought it. He got himself in a little apartment where he's living, and then uh, he stopped. He stopped going to school full time, but he got a full time job for, so I guess a water company in Irvine or something like that. And he's living in Irvine, and uh, he's like, you know, what happened was tough, but I you got to keep it pushing. You know what I mean? Keep it, keep it going, and yeah. and I got through it. I figured it out. You know, um, how to deal with it, how to cope with it, and. And yeah, so man, this guy like was the outcome of it. Like seeing him after was was rewarding. You're just and like you're looking back well, and you're just like, oh fuck, like yeah. Well, the guy sat I seen down. You, I the, seen you when you were yeah when he was at a low part point. Yeah. You know what I mean? He sat down and 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 I remember um, before we even started the haircut, he turns his chair with his foot. He's like, yo, hey, bro, I appreciate everything you did for me. Like I don't even know who you were. You don't know me, and you lended an ear for me, and you were there. Like. Yeah. That shit's is raw, you know what I mean? Like, and I remember I chopped him up, finished his haircut, and then he's like, "Hey, I'm paying for this cut." And I was like, "All right, for for sure, like I got you." And uh, he went to the front before it was instead of paying the barber, it was pay the shop. So he went to the front, paid the haircut, and he comes over here, you know, dap me up. And I noticed that he has a bill in his hand, so he so he like like folded up and he's gonna tip me. So I see it, shake hands, turn. And then he's like, peace out, I'll see you. And I was like, for sure, bro, thank you. I turn around, I look, and it's a $100 bill. And I turn around, I said, yo, yo, hey, hold on, hold on. Like, what, what's up with this? He's like, I saw you, bro. And I was like, nah, nah, it's too much, bro. Like, kick back. And he's like, that's not enough. Like, Ooh. trust me when I tell you that's not enough. And, bro, when he said that, like, I was like, fuck. Crying one more and time. I, I, and, yeah, and I brought him back again. I said, yo, hey, you know, I one appreciate time. you, you know. And he's like, bro, like, I'm doing good for myself now, and that's not enough. The, the, the support you gave me was good. I think everybody here, since it's today is is the boys' room, 
I think we can honestly say, I think our barbers sometimes know more than other people close mm-hmm. to us. For sure. <laughs> so, like, we're... we're <laughs> hey, you sit in this chair. You sit in this chair and you just, you just vent. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, you literally, you, you sit down, say your appointment is 30, 45 minutes. We're not, we're literally, eh, obviously for the haircut, but we're paying for therapy. Exactly, so when bro. people say like, "Man, don't go to therapy," our therapy is a barber. So, yeah. So okay, I've never, I haven't cut you up. Yeah, no. I don't know why, but we'll talk about that later. Um, we'll talk about this you, off camera. First time meeting him, but every other person here, I cut him up, right? And it's crazy because it's safe to say you guys can say I talk a lot when I'm chopping up, right? But when I get a haircut. I don't like to talk. I'd rather just sit there and just kick you it. You want them to get done? Yeah. No, no, no. I don't want them. I just, hey, you know what? This is my time to just unwind, just kick back, like, just chop me up. Let so me just So you're a social relax. person being antisocial. So this is a good <laughs> Well, <laughs> so I know you're not. An honest, an honest question for the people that met you now in this, this phase of your life. Have you always been an extrovert? Always been social? Always been welcoming? Yeah. Yes. yeah. I've always been I've always been uh I've always been open and able to to interact with anyone. I could you could put me in a room with 10 random people and I guarantee you all 10 will know who I am by the end of the t- by the end of that that room, you know what oh. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. But it's crazy. It's crazy because as 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 uh social as I am, uh, I feel like I suffer from social anxiety. Mm. Does that make sense? Like, like I can't go to the mall by myself because I feel weird. I feel like people are looking at me. Like I have to have an, a headphone in. But is it I'll, because you know people know you, or because you're just like I just feel weird? Are you like like if like if I say, hey, you know what? Like Luis, let's go to the mall. Like, yeah. and you're like, fuck it, let's go. I'll go and I'll focus on you, talk to you, and 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 kind of just so cancel you, out everybody. Are you not one of those people that um, that can go and eat lunch by themselves? Oh no, I, I've I've used to. I used to not be that that guy. Now I learned to to enjoy my solitude and kind of kind of. I've gone to the movies by God myself. Damn, for why are you using big words? <laughs> solitude. Nah, <laughs> I've I've gone I've gone to uh, I've gone to the movies by myself. Di- like like not dinner but like I've gone to eat by myself um, yeah. and at first before it was weird I was like no I can't do that like that's weird you know but but I think it started when COVID hit or before COVID um, I just kind of learned how to how to just really unwind and be by myself and talk and just kind of just enjoy my 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 you know lo- loneliness really because yeah. at the end of the day if you could be happy by yourself. Then you're really happy, you know what I mean? Because, because I feel like people that know me, they 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 know that I'm a happy person. Yeah. And or should I say, they assume I'm a happy person, and it and they don't know sometimes what's really. So if you bugging. if you can drop, you know, I, <clears throat> what I love about the podcast and when we cut up some small videos on TikTok, again, you got to go follow that right now. Um, I always use a 15, 20 second video. That highlights the podcast. Yeah. A whole hour podcast and within a 20 second, 30 second video. Oh, it's only an hour? Oh. <laughs> now, I think the, in the <laughs> hey. I, I think in the books we've had like an hour, tw- hour and a half. That's the most we've done. Because I'm here to break records. <laughs> We're here to I'm not here follow to the break rules. records. It's a Friday night. <laughs> it's a Friday night. You ask me what my, what my plans are, and my plans were, hey, I got a podcast. I had the barber here, Jerry. Shout out to Jerry. It's my boy. He, uh, yeah, June Barber. Follow him on Instagram. No, actually, don't follow him. <laughs> no, but you know what? I had him uh, today, earlier. I think Brian was here. He's like, bro, that's like the 10th time I heard you say you have a podcast today. And I'm like, I'm excited, bro. Like, I'm <laughs> nervous. I'm excited. I got mixed emotions, but I've never been that. on one. I've seen him. I've never been on one. He was calling me Joe Rogan. He's like, the, the, the Aldo experience. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't think you fools, like, it's not my podcast. I'm just a guest on the podcast, you know? Uh, this is yours. This is your episode, <laughs> big guy. All right. The, I appreciate the, that. The biggest thing, bro, and, and I appreciate you guys, you lending your space here for us because 
And I was just telling Dylan, I'm like, yo, I haven't done a Friday night podcast since we were in West Covina. No shit. And you guys yeah. are in L.A. right now, right? We're in, I know LA. You guys are in L.A. So we went from West Covina to Fontana to downtown. Yeah. So it's been going on, shit, like eight months since we did a Friday podcast. No shit. So, so we're, hey. we're writing those podcasts like there was no tomorrow. We had a purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. a lot of people ask me, dude, like, like, what's your point in the podcast? I'm like, yo, like, my point is to put out the stories that other people haven't heard, to feel inspired, to be motivated. So it's like people that are watching is not just our friends and our family. It's people, maybe the young barber that right now is cutting up. It's like, yo, like, how can I be an owner? Yeah. How can I transition? Like, I don't, I don't have the money. I, I, I'm, I'm too tired. I'm, I don't know what to do. Like, yeah. what's that first step, that first transition to get into being a business? Like, it's tough, bro. Um, it's tough. Even now, um, I'm going almost I'm two months away from being a year here. That's right. And, and actually yeah. uh, having, you know, a place to say is mine. Um, it's a bit, almost a year, and even till now, I'm still dealing with problems. You know what I mean? Still, it's always something. Uh, That's what my once well, you get in business, it's, my, it my, never uh, ends. Bro. Yeah, my 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 brother, my brother in law Tony. He's like my dad. I pretty much tell him, tell everybody he's my dad. Like they, they know him as my dad. Yeah, that's what I was just telling dinner. I was like, oh, I know. He always says it's like his dad. Yeah, had this spot, and boom, mm -hmm. he bought into the dream, Ex bro. Exactly, bro. He he always says it's always something. Like you're never gonna you're never gonna be. At a spot where you're chilling, it's always something, you know what I mean? At least tell this with like, yeah. bro, like, I'm stressing, bro. Yeah, like, why? Bro, like, yo, there's so much. You may think you have it on lock. Nope. Something will come and slap the shit out of you real quick and be like, psych, let me bring you down back to earth, you know what I mean? Yeah. But but uh, I, I I seen him. I seen what he did. He He's not a barber. He's never cut hair. He's just like the fact that you can go to a shop, just like we said earlier. Go to a shop, unwind, kick back. Therapy, you know what I mean? Facts. Just chill. Like, shop talk, bro. We come here, we talk bullshit. You know what I mean? People we that talk, won't understand, But bro. at the end of the day, but at... <laughs> you know what, though? But at the end of the day, that that's that's one of the biggest things that I like about this is, is, is my clients get here, and, bro, they could be having the worst day. Like, I've had situations where I have a client here, and this dude just... just Got a brand new, like a new job, a badass job, or he just got a raise. Something sick, something good, something to be happy about, right? Yeah. And the very next person just got fired. You know what I mean? And it's like, damn, it's crazy how within a 30-minute span, the conversations just completely flip. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, nice. and and they come here, and they're like, man, I didn't want to go home, bro. Like, Or me and my lady are fighting. I'm, I just came to see, fuck it, I'm going to get a haircut. Like, just kick it. But, you know? it, like, when, you, when people come to you with problems... And in those 30, 40 seconds, or say two minutes, that they're telling you the problem, do you shut it out when you're not hearing a solution to this problem? Because I feel like there's always a fucking solution. You know what's crazy is um, I feel like I give great advice. I just can't take it. I just can't take my own advice. I feel like, I feel like, if, like if you sit down in my chair yeah. and you're telling me about whatever the case, whatever, whatever's going on in life, Right, say for instance, let's, everyone talks about relationships, especially in the chair. Everybody, you know does. what I mean. Everyone talks, man, my girl's tripping. No, me hizo lunch at me. Yeah, mujer, you know what like, I mean. My girl's tripping. My girl is, or you know what? Like, I can't kick it with you today, fool, because my <laughs> my lady, my lady's tripping. Nah, but so that's one of the biggest things that I hear a lot is is relationship problems. You know, and, and I can't say my relationships have been good and gravy, bro. I, Miguel has seen how many girls come and go, bro. Too many, <laughs> bro. Miguel has seen I don't know how many girls come like I'll tell him yo check it out bro like I'm talking to this girl right now and he's like damn what the fuck someone said hi poppy <laughs> <laughs> hey I can't say it's me because the camera is just pointing at you big guy <laughs> nah um don't get shy now Bubba nah bro <laughs> hey follow me on Instagram Elisaldo <laughs> no the follow. what's crazy yeah let me get one actually hold come, on come through Miguel. don't worry quick. about it don't worry hey, about you know it what? don't trip Oh, you know what? Dylan will take care of it. This yeah, is alive um, and organic. <laughs> Hold on. We need Shout to out to the camera. Uh, they're leaking out. He's, a, he's the manager Hold behind on. the scenes, bro. He's the one that makes it, he's the one that makes it work. No. 
that since we bring it up, you know, no one no one knows what Dylan does behind the scene, bro. Dylan does be a lot behind the scenes. He's without without Dylan, it don't go down. Bro, with, without him and today we're missing our friend Cindy. Um, shout out Cindy. But without them them two, like, bro, LA would have never worked. No shit. Like, you probably have your boys. Yeah, yeah, for Th- sure. This dude, yo, like, I need you to do this with me in LA. It, like, it's not paying right now, but there's a movement. Yep. So he brought it up the other day. He was like, yo, without you, the podcast would have never started. I'm like, you're correct. It wouldn't have. Without me and Brittany, uh, it would have never started. I thought, your name was, I thought your name, her name was Cindy. Brent, Brittany's my girlfriend. Oh, okay. Cindy's our I've other never, partner. That on, I don't know why I always think that's his sister, but no. Your sister, sister and his wife. Like a sister-in-law, right? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, comadre. Yeah, yeah. Comadre yeah, com- has to comadres, be. Comadres, It has to be. No, yeah, yeah. So I've yeah. never met her. So he was like, yo, without you, it would, I was like, yeah, but... Well, Without I'm, I'm, you and Cindy, the movement would have never started. I'm assuming it's, it, it has to be tough on your on, on your girl too, right? Like, like because yeah. I because I, I I follow you on Instagram and I notice like sometimes you just up and go and you guys are chilling. I have to, and I'm like, wait, yeah. she has a girl and a and, and yeah, we just came from uh, Brea Mall. We just so, came from the mall. We so were, so to, today, have you, when was the last time you saw your girl today? Today, just I literally know. an hour ago. Oh, okay, 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 hour hour and a half ago. So she's she. I'm assuming she's she's cool with it. Oh, right? yeah. she's cool. But it being in business or b- creating a movement takes a toll. Oh, 100 percent, hundred percent takes a toll. There, there's sacrifice that has to be yeah. made, and I think Which, us as men, and maybe this is just my thing or other people that may think like this. If anybody's gonna do it, go through the pain, go through the anxiety, depression, tiredness, you know, heartaches, headaches. I'd rather it be me than you. Yeah, exactly. You know what? That's that's the machista in us, though, right? Yeah, that's the machista. Yo, in for us. sure. Like for me, I was raised as you're the man, you provide. You know what I mean? If you could take stress off of your your the woman in your life, yeah, which starts off as your mom, the woman in your life starts off as your mom. You gotta go follow follow him, follow him. <laughs> yeah, follow him, follow him. He'll tell you. Or Brian, take him out. Seven. All right. Um. Yeah, so it starts off as the woman in your life, right? Which is your mom. Facts. That's the first woman in your life. And then mm-hmm. you meet girls and then you meet your wife. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, as a, as I was raised as a man, you got to provide. You got to make sure that that you can handle everything Facts. on your own financially, which is one of the biggest things financially. You know what I mean? And you need to be able to balance work, personal life, and your relationship all in a whole standing Maybe you know I'm, I mean? like, very wrong for this, but I know there is a balance. But sometimes, in order for it to be balanced, some things have to be out of balance. Yeah, of course. And I feel like I feel like everyone has a tad bit of selfishness in them, you know? Everyone gets a little selfish. And it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing that, yeah, it's not a bad thing that we're selfish. Exactly. You You have to. You have to care for yourself because at the end of the day, no one else will. When the going gets tough, people fold. And I've seen that happen since, man, even even when I was, before I was an adult, when I was in high school, shit shit went south and people turned the other way. Like, nope, 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 nope. But that's why a lot of people don't, don't last. So, like, this is the thing, right? So when you go into business... I mean, for the other pe- other business people that we have met throughout the process of the pro- of the podcast, yo, they've gone a whole year with no return. Yeah. Everything they've made goes in there. Like literally, this is coming from the mouth of other entrepreneurs. Like, yo, I made X amount of money. I didn't even pay myself. I threw it back in. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing with with the first job we're doing of the podcast with the shirt. Whatever we're making, yo, I'm, I want everybody an understanding. I'm not taking nothing home. I'm putting everything, everything right back. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a movement. It's a progress. It's, it's, it's mul- you got to start mul- somewhere. You got to multiply it. You Ooh. know what I mean? So Got, got to. Yeah. Um, so that one. We're good? <laughs> ready? 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 All right. A toast. Yo, a toast. Another great episode. Yo, my Cheers. boy, you got one already? There it we is. Got the, we got the behind the scenes. We got behind the scenes. Behind there the we, scenes. With the drinks. Yes, sir. Cheers. Ooh. Damn, Dylan, how much did you serve, bro? <laughs> you served like a whole drink in there. 
Woo. So transitioning, bro. The hardest moment you've ever had to overcome. Fuck. We're getting we're getting deep with it now, huh? Um No saliva. Oh you know what? <laughs> no saliva. This motherfucker. No rubber hey, on this. Hey, one. you know what? It's rated R, huh? Oh. Um Nah, bro. We have to keep it for the you kids. Keep it PG. No cussing. Now nah, you know what? I think the hardest moment. This is gonna sound super fucking simp. The hardest moment that I over that I had to overcome. Yeah, please. Led me to this. Led me to barbering. Right. Mm. Um. I fucking. I went. Man, these guys know. I was. I had a. I was in a relationship in, in high school. Yeah. I'm not gonna say no names. <laughs> but if you're watching, if you're watching, you lost out. They don't deserve the clout, bro. <laughs> But if you're <laughs> fuck that bitch. <laughs> but if you're watching, you lost out. She probably watching though. She probably watching. Nah, Everybody you know what? watching. I uh I I I went I went through a tough 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 breakup, right? Like, it was bad. Did, did you tell her I'm gonna kill myself, bro? I probably did. I, <laughs> shit was a blur, bro. I was drunk for about three months. Ooh, it was bad, bro. It was bad. It was it was real bad. I I was with this chick for about four years. I mean, I'm in my head. I'm like, yo, I'm. This, this is it. Know, this is it. High school sweetheart shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, man, shit went south real quick, real quick. I just kind of saw it coming, and then, then, then it was you know, I caught her. It was, it was, it was uh, you know, she cheated on me. Fuck it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not afraid to say it. It's what built me. It built me to who I am now. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then the day you go through what you got to go through, and and it molds you into. If you don't go through those moments, then you won't. Then be who the who fuck you would I now? be now? You know what I mean? But yeah, bro, she cheated on me. I saw it. I was like, oh shit, what the fuck? Like, what, this you know? really happened. She kind of threw me off guard. I was like, whoa, okay, um, what the fuck? So how did you overcome those three months? I man, you know what's crazy? So I used to work in construction prior to prior to barbering. Yeah. And um, I I was isolated most of the time. Like I was on my own, you know, doing whatever I had to do. Yeah. And uh, I fucking was in my head too much, bro. I'd get home from work, just get literally my shit was Ciroc and beer. Get a Ciroc beer, fucking and and my boy knows. Yeah. <laughs> my hop, boy knows. Hop, hop, hop in a hop in a fucking backyard, bro. Like I would literally pull up my 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 family, my sister, my, my the one I call my dad. Yeah, they they knew like where are you gonna go drink, and I'm just like yo, I'm, I just hit the backyard, turn a bonfire, and I'll kick it, kick it. I'll just sip, drink, you know what I mean, dude. Fucking, I cried, I fucking reminisce. I did all kind of shit back there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I lasted like about well, three months. My shit, I stopped taking care of shit that I had to take care of. I just didn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? And and then one day it just snapped out of it. I just I was like, what the fuck am I doing, wasting my life on, on, this? You know yeah. what I mean? Like I need to get back on this shit, but I need a change. I need a change. And we had the barbershop already. The barbershop's a family owned business. We had the barbershop already, uh, and I would come here anyway and kick it. And Jerry, the dude that that, that my boy, mm. he one day I hit him up and I was like, yo, hey, this shit looks easy to do, like. I think I cut. We talked about this earlier too. I was like, I think I cut. I think I could cut hair, and he's like, Nah, bro, it's not easy. Like, I went to school for this shit, you know. And I'm like, Yeah, nah, honestly, like, I don't mean to talk shit, bro. I think I could do it. And he's like, Well, chop. Well, he's like, Well, chop me up. He's like, Well, chop me up. And I was like, Bet, run it. I fucking sat down. I, he sat down. I started chopping him up. It took me about an hour and a half on his haircut, bro. <laughs> but he's like, Fuck, this is bald. You here, know what's crazy though? I can put it back. It's crazy though, cause he got up and he looked at it. And he's like. You've never cut hair before? And I'm like, nah. And he's like, this is not bad, bro. Like, there's little minor shit that you could fix. Yeah. Granted, like, I've never fucking done it. So, but he's like, this is not bad. Like, you're not bad at doing this shit. Why don't you do it? And I'm like, bam. I don't think I have patience for it, bro. Like, I, I'm not a barber. Like, what the fuck? And I remember I, I said, fuck it. I got some old clippers. They gave me some old clippers. And I started just literally, it was people, nothing but like a two on top and a mid fade. I didn't know how to do. Sh- I didn't know how to do shear work. I didn't know how to cut scissors. I didn't know how to use yeah. blade. None of that. How shit. was the was lineup? Just, the lineup was clean because I used to do my own lineup back in the day. Lineup was clean, <laughs> but it's all sideways. Uh, it's all. Yeah, look at it at an angle. Look at it at an angle, bro. <laughs> look, touch your head. Your head go like, your your head go like this. That's right like, now. Nah. Um, I used to. I used to. I started off like that, bro, and and I was working still and coming here and I'd kick you here and then. 
the shop would get busy and 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 it would be like whoa we have like five people waiting six people waiting i'm like fuck it shoot me shoot me the easiest one i'll fucking hop on a chair real quick and chop up and sure enough i started like that and then i saw i saw like a little opportunity a little little door a little light you know and i'm like fuck it like i'm gonna just hop in and and just see what it chop does full time test the waters you know so i quit construction and hopped in full time at a, as a barber. Yeah. And granted, you're not gonna go in a chair where you don't know the person or you barely, you know. what I mean, it's hard. It's hard to trust somebody with with what you feel. I mean, no, no offense to nobody, but you can go in in bed with any girl, but to go in bed with, any, with like a barber, with so another bro, chair. You know what I mean? You again. Let me rephrase that. You can go to any <laughs> bed with any girl, so, but to get in a chair with any barber is never gonna bro. happen. You know what I mean? Unless you don't give a shit hey, about your hair. Hey, cheat on your girl. Don't cheat on your barber. You feel me? Cheat on your girl, don't cheat on your barber. They're, they know. They, they look at you like, hey, who cut you up last time? I didn't get a haircut. No, I didn't nah. do this shit. <laughs> nah, but you know what? Um, I started like that, and, and bro, I, I took a massive, massive pay cut, you know? So um, give me, and and I'm, I'm not trying to cut you off, but the thing is, for people to, to see the light throughout that darkness, a lot of people don't, bro. A lot of people don't see the light. A lot of people say, like, they think it it doesn't work out from there. Yeah. So what, did you have a phrase or a quote or maybe even just a word that someone told you, somewhere you read, you heard it, that since that day you're like, all right, this is it? Well, like, as in cutting after? Yeah, like, life, life, bro. To get, at, to get out of fucking three months of drinking. Yeah. To literally get into what now bro, is so your profession, your career. It's like, not even that, bro. Like I went, I I was down bad, bro, to the point where, and only because we're we're organic, raw as fuck. Have right to. Now, I I stopped paying my my bills. I I got my car repoed. You know what I mean? Like it was bad, bro. I was doing bad. Like I didn't give a fuck. Yeah. I did not give a fuck. Money I had, I had the money to. You pay just chose not shit. to. I just chose not to. I didn't care. I, I was like, nah, fuck. Whatever the world. Whatever. Next thing you know, what really set me off, I think, was was I got the phone call like, "Hey, hey, where you at?" And I'm like, "I'm at the shop." Why? Hey, somebody's taking your car. And I'm like, "What the fuck? What do you mean?" And they're like, "A tow truck came and picked up the car, and I fucking jetted over there." And I, and sure enough, homeboy was like, "Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you haven't paid your bill. I just, they just called me to pick up, pick up the car." And I'm like, and I knew what it was. Yeah. You know, and I turn was like, the mic, oh, homie. Turn the mic. There my it is. fault, my fault. I knew what it was. You know, <laughs> Mike Sava. I I knew what it was. I was just too I, I was too embarrassed and 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 to to admit it. You know. Yeah. And uh, I remember that shit fucked me up, bro. I was like, oh, sh-. and that shit snapped me out of it. Like, yo, hey, you need to get back on this shit. What the fuck are you doing with your life? You know, Jesus. and and that's when I needed to be out of what I used to do. Because here at the barbershop, I kicked it with the barbers. I kicked it with the clients. I'm always, yeah. I kind of distracted myself. Did I want to be a barber? No, nah, I didn't really want to be a barber. I told my dad, I said, you know what? It's for the meantime. It's for the meantime. Like, I'm not going to do this shit forever. I'm not gonna. And he's like, all right, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, like, do what you, he's the type of guy that he got your back, whatever. No matter what it is. Years later, he here you back. are. You know what I mean? And I'm like, it's going to be mean, meanwhile, meanwhile, meanwhile. And. Sure enough, bro, I went from making, at the time, I was like 18, 19, working construction. I was making like 600, 600, 700 bucks a week to making, I literally showed Jerry, the dude that was right here, I showed him my my weekly, like, check, 125 bucks. And he's like, oh, that's what you made today? And I was like, nah, that's what I made for the week. And he's like, oh, oh, uh, <laughs> he's like. Fuck it, you know it'll get better, bro. Just keep put, keep it pushing. Have to, bro. I literally made one hundred and twenty five bucks a week. Like, what the fuck am I gonna do? That's four hundred bucks a month, five hundred bucks a month. So if you don't mind me asking, what do you make a day now? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, 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 again, fuck. Don't, re, made, you can throw us in the ballpark if if you don't want to. It's cool, but um, reason why is because obviously, I mean, we said it earlier. The money makes the world go round. Mm-hmm. And a lot, but a lot of people, a lot of youngsters, and if you're listening right now, and if you don't, you're trying to figure out what you're trying to do, it's like, yo, don't chase the money, chase your dream, because the money may not come in a year, two years, maybe even three years, but come, it's gonna though. end up paying off. It's yeah. gonna pay off. Um, so you started one twenty five a one twenty five, bro. Uh, only because I spend as faster than I can make it. 
Um, it doesn't seem like it, bro, but I, I, around the ballpark, I say, um, you know, 1000 to 1200 a week on the ballpark range, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, but, dude, like I said, I fucking have a fucking spending addiction, bro. I, no. Like, <laughs> like uh, <laughs> nah, not at all. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, bro. I, I, I uh, that's one thing that I that I need to fix is is I have a spending habit, a, a, a real bad spending habit, you know. And yeah. the thing is, the thing is for me is like, why the fuck am I gonna limit myself when I can, if I can, why not? Because at the end of the day, all of us in this room are gonna end up dead in the fucking hole. You yeah. know what I mean? None of the money that we save is gonna go with us. None of the shit that we buy is gonna go with us. Let me oh. switch it up for you. So now, not, none of the all the money that we made saved doesn't go down with us, but we can keep it for the rest of us that the rest of the people that were with you. Yeah. So in my case, I got my kids, I got my team, my family, I got my friends that are my family. So it's like I'm hustling not just for me, so I can go buy whatever I want, but also Let's for provide. my provide. Provide. We're providers. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. As so, men, like, as men, we're we're put on this earth to provide. At business people. Yeah. As we don't get into business if it doesn't benefit us. We get into business. If, well, see, that's the thing. That's where I disagree. Let's go. That's where I disagree Ooh, because getting good. That's where I disagree because because you don't know if a business is going to benefit you or not. That business is. is business is rocky. Business is 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 literally fucking tears, sweat, blood. You know what I mean. But what's your purpose with business? With this to, barber, with this to, barber shop we're sitting in right fucking to now. Make, to to separate the gap. To widen the gap from where we used to be to where we can be. You know, and then I don't know if I'm putting it. I know there's a phrase for it. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. Yeah. One, because of the fucking Don Julio. You know what I mean? One, because of the fucking Don Julio. You know what I mean? But but it's 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 to to make the next generation that much more comfortable. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't know where I fucking saw this, bro. I must have saw it on Instagram. It says... It says my grandpa walked, so my dad could ride a bike. Then my my next dad could be in a car. Yeah. My next, then my son could be in a fucking Ferrari. But then my grandson's gonna be back to walking, right? Yeah. Why? Because because you need to teach the hustle. The hu- basically basically you need to you need to fucking. Well, it was it was like that phrase, and I've said it. I said it, I think like two weeks ago that. Um, tough times make strong men. Strong men make, make easy times. Yeah, and then easy times time make, make weak men. Exactly. And it just restarts. And it re fucking starts. But it, so for it me, goes back. It goes back to who you have around you. Oh man, who you literally who you have around you. And and again, this is not, and it's not just because these people are here. But I've had people around me that when the situation just flipped. They were grind mode just went ten times harder. I've had so uh, yeah, I know what you mean. I've also had people when shit gets tough, they're gone. gone. You know what I mean? Gone and like I've the wind. And I've had people show in Spanish it's called leal- lealtad, uh-huh. meaning loyalty. I've had people show the fucking loyalty. Like one of them is right here, bro. Right here. That's what I was referring to. So this dude, I've been chopping you off for what three, four years. You know what I mean? Never known him prior to this, bro. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. If this one prime example of it doesn't matter how long you know a person or how well you know a person. Facts. When it's solid and when it's raw and there, yeah. it's there. Right? This dude right here, bro, I was, I just bought a car recently, right? Fucking shopping, bro. And I'm like, fuck, I, I, man, these fools want to fucking fuck me, bro. Like, this and that, you know what I mean? And. And this guy's like, what the fuck? Like, how much you trying? How much on this? How much? And I'm like, bro, they're fuck. And he's like, yo, fuck that. Like, why don't you get a cosigner? And I'm like, I don't want to. And he's like, yo, I don't, I, I don't want them to fuck. You. I'll cosign for you. And I'm like, what? He's like, I'll do it. Like, yeah. he he just bought a house. Shout out, bro. That's good fucking shit. Shout out my good boy. fucking shit. Shout my out my boy brother. just bought a house. My bro. brother in law. I love you, Miguel. Just a house, bro. That's that's some real shit right there. That's good. That's good. You know, to the um, just because Miguel he put you on the spot, I got to put him on the, at the party. He wasn't there. You know, it was a great party. It was but a I super great party. But I understand, bro, because because he has a wife. He has two beautiful daughters. Now, check this out. So 
we he threw the first party, right? And I think when when you're literally like right now we're in your spot, we're throwing this we're doing this event, this podcast in your spot, you're probably mm-hmm. like, What the fuck? He threw the party. He set the whole thing up, whole thing. And at one point I was like, Yo, like, you did this. Yeah. Like we're literally in your own fucking in your house. pad, yep. Yeah. For your sister. Yep. Yeah. For my sister. I was invited, bro. And but never showed up. <laughs> hey, I was no, no. You know what? I talked to him about it. I talked to him about it. It was it was, my, it was, it was my, uh, unfortunate events that no, happened. It wasn't even unfortunate, bro. I can't say it was unfortunate. Fortunate it was my, events. Yeah, it was my grandma's birthday. I complete, bro. She turned so, up too, bro. This was what if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, January eighth or 9th, right? One of those days. It was a Saturday. Two days um, later, I had my I had my baby girl. <laughs> oh, yup. That's true. Congrats <laughs> to that. Congrats appreciate to that. You, appreciate you. Yep, I met. I met. No, I chopped them up. Hey, first cut, dude. First cut. Yes, sir. Hey, I, that was the first time I've ever cut someone, a little baby, for the first time ever. I give it. I. Yeah, yeah I was. I was I'm, nervous one because because I didn't want him to be like, what the fuck, like. <laughs> my boy was falling asleep. <laughs> Bro, he that was, was like chilling. his dad, bro. He's like his dad. Or like, fuck yeah, yeah. Oh, we're good. Ch- we're done. He was chilling, bro. I'm over here like, damn, I don't, I don't. He's like, this fool's like, give him a fucking phase zero. And I was like, nah, bro. His hair's, his hair's, he's only, what, what, how old is he? Two. Yeah. But his hair is thin. He's never gotten a haircut. No, never. So for him, I'm like, dude, a zero's going to yeah. look lethal on him. Like, there's no way. Right? But, bro, that, that was, that was. I thank you for allowing now, me. Let, let me throw this out and everybody that was watching right now. And this happened on one of those nights that you just have booze. You're having great times, great conversations. Yeah. At the fucking alley. Yeah, and Shout the out fucking to the alley, alley bro. Shout out to the alley. Everybody in the alley. If you know, you know. If you know, you, if know. you know. you know. So, Shout out to Tony. Uh. Yeah. So we were literally just sitting right there. And Brittany, baby mom, my girlfriend, my fucking dude, she holds it down. And she was like, yo, like, we, he needs to get a haircut. I'm like, nah, bro. Nope. 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 I want his hair to be long. Like, I don't get long hair. He's and I knew that. Hair. That's why I was nervous because yeah. he didn't want to cut his hair. You had told me he didn't want to cut his hair. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah. So like, I don't want to fuck it up because at the end of the day, he's like, that's why I didn't want to cut his hair because look at how he looks now. It went you know from one I mean? thing to another. And as soon as they said, dude, cut him up, you're like, yeah, yeah, this. And I seen you doing it. Something in my head was like, nah, this is the right person. Whatever it is, I don't even know this dude too much. This is the right person. It goes back to the energy. The energy that one puts out is what you get in return. So let's talk about that. The pe- energy that you had to put out in this world throughout your lifetime, now 25. And I think everything changes after high school. Yeah. Everything. No matter what. Everything has to change. So go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The energy you've ever put out now being a business owner. I, it so it started off. I mean, it's shit. This, this dates back to fucking elementary, middle school. Like, I was always, I was always outgoing. Of, I was always a fucking class clown. My family, my sister, because like I said, my sister and my brother in law. Shout out to them. They raised me. You know, my mom had illnesses that we had to deal with, and it, it put her aside, not aside, but out of work. You know, to yeah. the point where we had to take care of her. My sister and my brother in law stepped in and said, "I got you." They didn't have to. They didn't have to. No one has to do anything for you. My sister is that person, though. She's that person. My brother-in-law didn't have to because he didn't sign up for a third. He has two kids of his own. He didn't sign up for a third fucking no one for longo like me. You know what I mean? In this world, no one has to do anything for you. But he did. Hey, what do you mean you're going out? And those fucking pants, they're dirty as fuck. And those shoes... You know what I mean? You don't got another shirt. I seen you wear that shirt three times this week. Wow. And, and and I'm like, well, that's it. He's like, nah, fuck that. Let's go to the mall. Let's go get you some shit. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, he told me that the image that I portray reflects back on how I was raised and who the fuck is raising me? Him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, if I have you looking like that, then I'm like, who's his parents? Then he's going to yeah. go back to him and he's like... He's like, nah, bro, like, fuck that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he took care of me, and, and and I, bro, since I was a kid, I've always been a fucking class clown. You know what I mean? Uh, one thing I could do say is I've always been smart, and and I, I mean that, you know, like, honestly, I've always been smart, but I've always been, I've always been, tried to been slick, you know? This is the first time ever me admitting it, too, because I've always gotten, I've always gotten in trouble for it. 
<laughs> you know, you think you're slick. You think, and I've always tried to be slick. I've nah, always tried to me, get away me. with the bare minimum. Yeah. You know what I mean? And try to push lines, push boundaries that I can see, like, you know, what's the least amount of fucking that we can work do. I can do to get yeah. by? And and it's bitten me in the fucking ass before, but yeah. it's gotten me through some shit, too. And I'm like, oh, shit, you know? So the more, it's like it's like when you say you're going through good times and you feel like you're on cloud nine. And then fucking out of nowhere, some shit just Boom. plummets you down to the fucking bottom. So is that business right now? Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 uh. Give it's, us the best advice on business. For the young viewers that are watching, older viewers that are watching, do whoever it. is watching this shit, give us the best. Do it, bro. I, I do it. Just, just do it. Like, like when you're fucking nervous, when you don't think you can do it, when you have fucking doubts, when you feel like, nah, this shit ain't for me, that's the moment you should do it. Because if you don't, you're never going to. The moment you feel, if shit was easy, bro, everybody would be doing it. Pl- promise you that. Yeah. If shit was easy, if business was easy, everyone would be doing it. But it's not. It's not for everybody. How do you know if it's not for you, though? You know what I mean? Yeah. Do it. Do it. What is What is it? It's an investment. It's an investment for what? A money? No. It's an investment for your future. You might think, oh, hey, you know what? I got 10, 15 Gs, 20 Gs saved up. Fuck, I could buy myself a house. Instead... Put that shit towards something that's going to bring you back more. Yeah. You know what I mean? I saved up some cash, bro. And I, my plan was to move out. 2020, before COVID, my, my goal, I, I, at, at, I don't do resolutions, bro. Because resolutions year, are meant me. to be fucking broken. New, new year, new me. All day long. New year, new hey, me. New year's resolutions are meant to be broken, bro. You say, hey, I'm going to hit the gym. Within the day. Stop drinking. <laughs> within bro, the within day. a week, you're fucking back to drinking. Like, fuck, I fucked up again. You know what I mean? It's January 1st, 12.01 in the morning. I'm going to stop drinking. Hey, 12.02? Dr- 12.02, you fucking, hey, pour up the shots. Yeah. But. You're gone. What I do is I set up goals for the Ooh, year. Facts. Instead of a resolution, I set up a goal. Right? Resolution is kind of like a goal. But. A resolution is more of a restriction on something or someone or whatever the case may be. A goal is more of a of a push, of a drive. I like, need to get to this. You know, and my goal 2020 was to move out, right? I said, I'm going to save some money. I'm going to move out. COVID hit. Fucking, I, I was doing clothes. backyard cuts, backyard boogie, right? Backyard boogie. I was doing backyard cuts. Prior to that, though, I didn't know what the fuck I was going to do. I'm like, I'm like, oh, COVID hit. We're going to get two weeks off. Quarantine, I'm chilling. Those two weeks came, nope, two we're months. still quarantined. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, I'm running low on cash. What the fuck am I going to do? How am I going to do this shit? So sure enough, I set up a fucking tent, started chopping up. Excuse me. Started chopping up in the backyard. Backyard boogie. And I'm like, yeah, backyard boogie, bro. And I'm like, fuck it. So 2020, you know what? I'm not going to move out. I can't, you know? Yeah. 2021, my New Year's resolution was to move out again. I said, you know what? I've done COVID cuts. I know what what I know what I know what I can do. You, yeah, I've done COVID cuts. I've done the backyard boogie. I know that I can still keep it going. Yeah. So I can move out now. I can figure out how to. I can adjust. I can formulate a plan, a plan, yeah. and move out. Right. And then the opportunity came to open up my own shop. I had some money saved up, and I'm like, damn! But this money's for one or the out. other. One or the other. And I'm like, so did you make the a bad choice? No, no. Can I tell you everything's good in gravy? No, it's not either, though. It's not either. There's shit that it's I got to deal with. There's shit that I'm dealing with as we speak. You know what I mean? Gravy but, shit is life, But it's though. fucking life, bro. You're going to deal with some bullshit. Shit's going to go down, and it's going to go up. It's like a fucking roller coaster. Yeah. You know what okay. I mean? It has, it, it's not even that it has to. It's going to. Whether exactly. you like it, Whether you like it or not, it's going to. It's going to keep going up, and you're going to feel good. Beer? Refill. 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 <laughs> no, but but yes, it's going it, to keep, keep going up. And then all of a sudden, it's just going to plummet. It's going to drop you down. It's going to drop. And the thing is, how do you keep going? How do you keep going? How do you keep pushing when the, the odds ain't even in your fucking favor? You know, everybody counts you out, and you're just like, you're, it's just you to the wall. And one thing that I, that I learned and I listened to was, go for it, Dylan, go for it. Shout out to Dylan. One, shout out to Dylan. <laughs> shout out to Dylan. One one thing that that a lot of, I learned and, and I listened to was when my walls against when my back's against the wall 
Only way to go is fucking forward. Yeah, when you're down and out, the only way is up. There's no other way besides that. It's up. You know, it has I mean? to. Thank you. So, with with everything happening, bro. No, like again, life is life. There's gonna be good times. There's gonna be bad times. There's gonna be times where you're, you're probably just fucking second guessing yourself. Like, fuck, man, what am I really doing with my life? Mm-hmm. It's like, yo, if you love this shit, whatever it is, trust yourself. Ain't nobody gotta gotta believe in your dream more than you believe in your fucking dream. Nobody. The dream don't have to be small or big. No. Nope. I would tell you to make that fucking dream big to the point where people laugh at you. So let me tell you this. What's your purpose? Let me ask you this. What is the purpose? What is your purpose? So so we were talking about earlier, we were talking about how I told my dad that this was going to be temporary, right? Yeah. Um, and then one day I, I was we're in the front yard. We're chilling, drinking. And I looked at him and I said, you know what? Barbering is what the fuck I'm meant for. And it's not necessarily cutting hair. It's the it's the experiences, the talk, you know, the 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 just the overall thing that we do here as a as a barber and as a client. Yeah. It's like you said, therapy, you know what I mean? Uh, That's my fucking calling, I feel. Yeah. Because as it is, you we've met each other, we've known each other About like three, ver- four times, man. Three, met. four times. Yeah. Are you comfortable with me? Super. Bro, it's 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 what I'm here for. And I told my dad, I remember I said, this is what I'm going to do. And when I said that, he said, bingo, I fucking waited three years for this shit. Because you told me since the day you told me that this was going to be temporary, I knew that you weren't going to, it wasn't, it was going to be your calling. This was going to be what you're going to do, right? And I told him and he said, that's what I fucking been waiting for, right? So back to your question. I... Man, it's crazy because, because, or how how do you want me to put it? Like your gift. So what I heard, and you probably know that barber, Vic Blends. Yeah, Vic right. Blends for he sure. says my gift is when, when the man up above takes away your talent, and leave leaves you with whatever it is. Who are you? Um, takes away barbering. Who are you without barbering? Uh. I'm, I I would say I'm someone with open arms, a ear, lend an ear. I'm, man, it's crazy to say I'm probably like a home to people. You know what I mean? Not necessarily saying that you know they're they're for me or whatever, but yeah. But you go home, you kick your feet up. You know what I mean? You recline the fucking seat. You get kicked back. You're comfortable. Thanks. Right? What do you do right now? Kick back, feet crossed, chilling, chilling, sipping. You're comfortable. I'm at the spot. You know yeah. what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> I'm at the spot. I'm 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 like I'm like a scapegoat. I'm like a home. I'm like somewhere where you can just unwind. Yeah. At the end of the day, I guess you could say I'm in a way like a therapist. Yeah, like a therapist. You know what I mean? I've been a fucking clown. I've been you know I've done stupid shit. I've done all kinds of shit. At the end of the day. My purpose in life is to make other people happy, make other people feel good. Despite what the fuck's going on in my life, Miguel knows, I've talked to him about shit, that he didn't even know what the fuck's going on with me. And he's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yeah, but I don't portray that image. I don't show you what the fuck I got inside because I'm here for you. I'm here for you. I want to make you happy. I want to make you happy. I want to make you feel better, get a clean cut. You know, that's the least of it. At the end of the day, barbering is the least of the fucking shit that I'm here for. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just, that's a platform that I can do. But at the end of the day, my platform is to make you feel better, feel comfortable, feel happy. You know what I mean? I, th- I feel like that's what I'm here for. You know? God damn. Hold on. <laughs> he must have not seen that bottle. He must not know me. <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> Hey, this is a behind the scenes. This is behind the scenes. We're already on, so yeah. we're on, right? Where's that? Where's where's, where's the, the where's bring the water? The, bring the bring the water. Bring the bring the water. Hey, you know what? Shout out, this is my brother. This shout is my brother out right here, Dylan. He asked me prior to prior to doing this, what do you like to drink? And I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, what well, tequila? And I'm like, oh, or what alcohol really? And I'm like, yo, don't hold this. I think that's my shit. He's like, say less. 
Yo, and man's pulled up with a Julio said that that bottle, bro. Had to, but I, I again, I gotta, I gotta give it to to my compadre, my my brother from woo. Since we, since you I know, started my rebel days, you know what's crazy is I know those days. <laughs> I know the those days, days, but we'll, bro. we'll get into that later. We'll get, that's another topic when, for when, now, when he's ready to come on camera. For now, let's make a toast. A toast, because right? I feel like it's it's only it right. It's only right. Hat, a toast to life podcast, yes, sir. Let's make a toast, bro. Uh, one to business, because you just got into this. Thanks. I just got into this, right? Um, but not only that, bro, let's make a toast to uh to to amistades, friendship, you know what I mean? I've only seen you what, three, four times, like you said. Three, four times, I and guess. backyard boogies, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, we, we're here, we got it going, we got it cracking, you know what I mean? Um to the future. Let's make let's let's make let's make a so toast. what's meant for us. Exactly. Let's make a toast this, this, to so whatever I'll the people what, watching. Let's make a toast to our purpose. Ooh, to our gift. To our gift. What so we're here on this earth for. Whoever's watching right now, and usually this goes on like at 7 in the morning, 8 o'clock. Okay. So if you have cabecito, great. If you have a rain, bang, great. If you're drinking at that early morning, hey. you got AA meetings to go to after that. <laughs> he put me on. Pajaretes. Coffee or pajaretes. Pajaretes or he put pajaretes. Me on a pajaretes. If you're in the rancho listening to this. So I think the podcast has reached Europe, has reached Mexico, has reached everywhere. So yeah. wherever well, you're at at hey, that time, peep the flag. There we go. But what everything you just said right now, everybody that, that's in here, yo, with toast, man. Toast to, to, to our purpose. To our purpose, to our gift, to great amistades. <sighs> Woo, okay, we're good. done. <laughs> and the words that we got, okay, bye. <laughs> Yo, so where we're, we're already we're already like at an hour, bro, and this is this is and not we even, ain't even halfway, not even <laughs> close. The, what people don't understand, bro, is having a meaningful conversation doesn't just. It's, there's no time limit. Nah, man, this shit could last fucking hours, man for real. So let me let me hit you with a, a great left field right now. Ooh. If you're talking to your young your young self, 15 year old you, Damn. now looking back 10 years. Best piece of advice you can give that person, that kid. So at 15, bro, I, I and my sister probably knows this. She's probably going to watch this. She's probably going to watch this. Uh, my thing was when I turn 18, you can't tell me what to do, right? Back. That was my thing. When I turn 18, I'm a grown-ass every, fucking man. Every you young young person's mentality. Every young man's mentality. Yeah. That was my thing, and she would always tell me that shit's gonna come back and bite you in the ass. Fuck it, you don't know what the fuck's what what, what I got going. When I turned eighteen, and I turned fucking eighteen, I turned eighteen. I was still in high school. My birthday's February, right? Obviously, got, got February eighteenth. I turned eighteen. I didn't graduate till May, right? I turned eighteen. I'm a fucking grown man now, right? I can do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, you can't tell me what to do, what not to do. Okay, so what they do, they, they, they gave me that fucking lenience. They said, go ahead, go ahead, do what you got to do, right? And then before I could even fucking graduate, before I even finish <laughs> high school, I get arrested. Bam. You know what I mean? Thinking I'm slick, thinking I'm good, thinking I got it on unlock, I get arrested, right? And to be real, I got arrested at fucking grad night. Right? I'm thinking I got it on lock. Those I'm grand th- nights are wild. I'm thinking I got I it on lock. I don't know why now, but back then those grand nights were crazy. Yo, so crazy. I'm I'm over here thinking I'm over here thinking I got it on lock. I could I can handle myself. I'm a I'm a man now, you know? Yeah. I'm eighteen, I'm a man now. I'm 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 was older than, than him at the time. He was older than me, but his birthday is in September. I'm I'm older than him at the yeah. time, right? He's seventeen, I'm eighteen, I'm like, yo, you, I'm, I'm, I'm a man, you know what I mean? You're still yeah. a young buck. I'm still a man, baby. right? I'm with that mentality, though. Go to the go to the so babysitter. I'm with that mentality, right? Yeah. And that shit bit me in the ass. Yeah. I got caught up. I got arrested. That fucking Disneyland, dude. Fucking Mickey Mouse on the badge, dog. I got fucking arrested, right? 18 years old, going into life, go, starting my adult life, I start off arrested 
with a fucking with a, with a, with 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 something with on your record, on, with, yeah. Get arrested. I'm like fuck, you know. My advice to my younger self were to be slow the fuck down, slow down, enjoy life, kick back, relax. Stop trying to be older. Stop trying to be advanced. Stop trying to be someone else. Live today, not tomorrow, not yesterday. Live today. You know what I mean? God. <laughs> <laughs> Live today, bro. That's 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 my advice. Cause to bro, I got I got I got popped right. I, and then again, you said it was gonna be fucking raw. It has to. And you asked me prior yeah. to this, so, what, what should we keep out? I said, "Fuck it, don't keep." You shit know, out. my thing, bro. And this is we're coming. We're coming from the, the same neighborhood. I live. I lived here for you know not twenty six till I was twenty three. Not still here. Um, the biggest. The biggest thing is no matter what happens, bro. <laughs> literally, no matter what happens. Hold on. Oh, oh, let's eat. <laughs> the biggest thing is that no matter what happens, bro, is sometimes even the people in your same neighborhood don't even want to see you succeed. Oh, man. My thing here is there's a purpose to having a podcast. Right. Sharing the stories, sharing the message, creating a movement, inspire, motivate other people to do something with their own personal life. Yeah. Whoever's feelings get hurt along the way, and this is crazy. Today we're at we're at the mall, and I got a, a negrito to help me out. He was great, bro. Great fucking person. He was like, "Yo, like, what kind of, you know, what size?" And I was like, "Extra large." I'm scared of two X. So he was like, two I'm X. three, not on trip." <laughs> so he was like, "Got it." He was like, "You might want to try it on, though." I was like, "Say less, my boy. I got this. Try it on." I was like, "I like that." He was like, "Look, if we, me and you, put this same thing on right now, we're both gonna look different." Obviously, he was like, I'm going to be me. You're going to be you. And if you got to come and hate, then so be it. But there's no reason to. It is what it is. It, yeah, bro, it is what it, it is. It was so wild. And I was telling my mom right now, she was like, boy, what would you tell him? Podcast talk? I'm like, it was about to be. Because what he was telling me right then and there is because obviously when you're doing something great, something positive, there's a lot of people, not even a lot of people in, in your face, a lot of people behind doors that, Throw shade that yo yeah, <laughs> that shit's gonna, gonna cl that, that shit's gonna close down or and not you know happen. What, and you know what's crazy is me being me, me being the person I am. Like I said, like I said earlier, if you put me in a room with ten people, right? I'm gonna yeah. every, those ten people are gonna know me. They may not know everyone else in the room by the end of, but they're gonna know me by the end of that hour. But they're gonna know there's who a I presence. There has to be a fucking presence. So with that being said, people, a lot of. I, I don't mean this in a cocky way or nothing. A lot of people like me. A lot of people feel good with me, feel comfortable. But there's always people that don't like the... F they may not like... They may... They may. It may not be the case that they don't like me, but they don't like the fact that everybody else likes me. They don't want to see you happy. I, me, him, and the group we're in, we send this shit all week. And it and it's literally this, bro. So it's not, it's not even being cocky. It took me a lot of fucking time to be this confident. To walk, how you said, to walk into the room, people don't know who I am when I walk into that room out. and stand the fuck out. You know what's crazy? No is cocky level, though. There's a thin line between confidence and cockiness. And I feel, and it's going to sound cocky, but it's not. I feel like I pushed that limit. I know the fine line between confidence and cockiness, yeah. right? No one likes a cocky person. I've dealt with cocky people. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? It's because they, they people, those type of people come in. They talk loud. They, they, they want to this, this, They, they want to boast this, this. yourself. They want to make themselves look, you know. It's like, yo, we walk in. And, it's like, and in nah, my head, I'm nothing. like, bro, I know what the fuck you're about. Like, get the fuck out. But I've I, I've had to deal with, uh, growing up, I've always been a confident person only because, I mean, look at me, dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> look at me. I'm not the mm, I'm not the mm, best mm. fucking looking guy. I'm not in the best fucking you sure? shape. Someone called you daddy earlier. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not in the best shape. I'm not. I don't look the best. You know what I mean? But, but yes, yeah. Wait, what, what was yeah. that? So last week, last week, so last week, bro. <laughs> last week I had. Last week I had it was my birthday, right? I invited a couple home a couple homies. And I invited some girls, right? And 
And uh, <laughs> it turned out that it turned out that two girls fought. Why? I don't know. They didn't know each other. Everyone, everyone, kind of brought it back to the point that they fought over me. I don't think so. I don't think so. I really don't think so. But if you're those two no, girls watching, comment but they right had now. No reason is it to. true or not? But they had no reason to. I was, you know, I'm dancing with one. I'm dancing with the other one's like, why are you dancing with that bitch? The other one's like, why are you dancing with that bitch? Right? Whatever. Whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, they beefed it. Nah, bro. See, that's the level between confidence and cockiness. We're getting into the cockiness. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. But you just it's, want, you just want, you were showing I, good times. I, I was trying to have you a good time. It's my birthday. I want to dance. Yes, sir. I fucking love dancing. You know what I mean? She goes like, why are you dancing with that bitch? She goes like, why are you dancing with that bitch? And I'm like, what you mean? I'm having a good ass time, right? Whatever the case may be, they got down. That's whatever. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> but. <laughs> It was crazy, bro. Um, yeah, it was. It was. Who, who won though? Oh, I don't. I, I wasn't per, there. Person wasn't, one or person two? I wasn't there. Ooh. I wasn't there. Did the Did the, the winner take home the prize? <laughs> winner takes fucking bad boy. <laughs> no, but it's like Mortal Kombat, but, ready so for you. He was saying so. I so they so they they had brought. I invited them. They came. I didn't even think they were going to come. They showed up. I'm like, oh, shit. What the fuck? You know? Yeah. So then they brought a girl, and I asked her. I said, hey, real quick, just I don't get mad. I don't get hurt. None of that shit. What would you rate me between 1 through 10? 10 being the best, right? 15. She said 3. <laughs> right? And I said, okay. And I said, well, I'll tell you like this. I'll tell you, you like this. this. I'm like, this 3 had two girls fighting outside over them. Mm. And she's like, well, that makes you a 5. And I was like, all right. And I told her this, 15 minutes, and I'll have you right here. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, what? She's like, what? She's like, what? I'm like, that, that's that thin line. That's that thin line of confidence to cockiness. Confidence, bro. Because at the end of the day, because at the end of the day, I'm not going to talk bad about that girl. You know what I mean? But I'm not saying she was fucking Kim Kardashian or nothing. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I know where I stand. And I know what I gotta do. I need mouthpiece. No girl's gonna. I'm not gonna walk into a bar and a girl's gonna be like, "What's up with him?" No way. No, no shot. No shot. My my homies are better looking than me. They're gonna look at my homies first. But are my homies gonna? Ho but are my homies gonna holla? I'm gonna be the first person to be like, "Yo, what's good with you? You know what's cracking? What's, you what's looking up? good today?" I'm not scared of rejection. So since we shifted into this, what's that? What's what's the phrase? Oh, like, like number one the phrase. Opening phrase. Bro. Opening phrase. Yeah. For, Damn. For, for all the non confident fools listening, that, we, that people need help. I don't know how what to approach is, a girl. What is it? What do you do? Tell, admire, tell, give us a rundown. Give a, us a rundown. A girl admires the fact that you feel and you think you're up there. Mm. Right? So, one thing I've noticed, like I said, I'm not a fucking perfect, whatever. I, I want, I'm funny. I know I, I know I am. I know I can get you cracking. I know I can get you comfortable. That's that that has to be a, a a plus. But two, girls know I've been turned down. Literally, like, what's up with you? You know, you want to dance? No, I, I'm I'm good. I don't really know how to dance or whatever. Cool. What about you? You want to dance? You know what I mean? And she's like, what the fuck? And her homegirls are gonna be like, uh, yeah, sure, I'm down. Right? I take her out to dance, and then her homegirls like. Well, I, I'm I'm down to dance, and I'm like I thought you weren't though. You know what I mean? Girls want what they can't have. Ooh, you know what I mean? That I'm a firm believer in that. Girls want what they can't have. You know, so for me, it's like it's like I don't I'm not scared of rejection, bro. I've been if I tell you how many times I've been rejected, bro, you'd be like, damn, how do you even have the confidence to go up to, to go another for girl? The next one. Because to me, another one bites the dust, bro. Fuck mm. it. Hey, you know mm. what? You don't want it? You don't want it? Well, I liked it. Your homegirl might. Oh. You know what I mean? And now we're and, happily and, ever and, after. And when and when and when you're Yes. And see, this is the, the thin line between confidence. Is this and confidence? This is fucking confidence. When 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 I'm done with your homegirl, she's gonna tell you and you're gonna want it. We're gone, you know bro. I mean? We're gone. You're gonna be like, the girl's gonna be like, but her? 
I'm better looking than her. I'm, I got, you know. But you can whatever. get it too. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> no, I'm but, kidding. We're not promoting that. We're not promoting, we're not promoting that. You know what? Hey, stay faithful. <laughs> stay faithful. No, you got but, it too. Go to, go to I, church. I noticed that that girls love confidence, bro. Girls love confidence. So what's no matter what's what the phrase you hit them with? You didn't tell us. I don't. I don't necessarily have. A when you walk up and so like right now, we're right now we're at the club. We're at the bar. Oh man! You see a fine lady. Yeah. What do you What do you yeah, do? Yeah. You know what? Well, when you walk up to her, what do you do? Hey, what's it, up, mama? It really no. It's not even that, bro. What's up, it's, baby? It's not even that. Like, see, if I see if I see a girl, if I see a group of girls, right? A table of girls, and it's like say four of them, and they're chilling. They're not out there. They're not loud. They're not pounding. Yeah. They're not wilding. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, what's good with y'all? Like, y'all, y'all came to babysit. Y'all came to kick it. Like, what y'all came for? You know, they what were I mean? here. You taught them. Yeah. There. Like, so what y'all here for? And they're like, well, we came to kick it and drink. So let's drink. Hey, let me get some shots. You know what I mean? Hey. Y'all want to drink? Okay, let me get some shots. And they're like, what the fuck? Like. You know what I mean? Put them on their tab, though. <laughs> no, no, no. So, so that's what I'm like. Yo, I'm yeah. like, at the end of the day, I'm like, I'm here for a good time. Regardless of the fact, at the end of the day, you know, as men and as women, too. Because women are dogs nowadays more than men. Let's be real. Let's be real. Women have an advantage, bro. You know what I mean? Get Men get it when they can. Women get it when they want. Hey, that's a fact. You know what I mean? So, Fitting facts. So Fitting with that being said, facts right so with now. that being said, I don't come at a woman trying to holler. Most men be like, "What's good with you? Hey, you're good looking. What's up with you? You know, fuck that. What's up? You trying to vibe? You trying to kick you? We're trying to. What you trying to do? You trying to dance? You trying to drink? What we trying to do? I'm trying to have a good time, and I want to make sure y'all have a good time, right? right? So then next thing you know, girls are like, "Oh, this fool didn't even come over here to try to holler. He just came to kick it and have a good time, and then girls feel comfortable." What happens when you feel comfortable? They open up. Exactly, bro. You're like, oh, shit. Okay. What's your number? You know what? He ain't even all that, but but that fool ain't saying nothing. That fool ain't saying nothing. He's here right now. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Let me make him jealous because he's been looking at me all night. Let me make him jealous. Let me dance with this. Let, oh! Damn! <laughs> behind the, hey, behind the scenes. Behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah, we wild, dog. We wild, then. But... <laughs> But I'm like, I'm like, you know what I mean? Girls want what they can't have. So at the end of the day, it's like, I'll take an L. Tell me no. Fuck it. It's all good. Because it's four of y'all. Promise you one of them is going to want it. You know what I mean? Mm. At the end of the day. At the mm. end of the day. And if not, cool. And if mm. not, cool. At the end of the day, I didn't come to, to win a girl over. I came to have a good time. Right? Mm. I came to have a good time. Yeah. I can enjoy myself, and here we are now. Now I got a table full of girls. My boys are over here, and I'm like, "Yo, hey, holla over here." You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, my boy, hurry day, up, hurry up. At the end of the day, it, it just and it and it comes back to to. It's not even with just with girls, bro. It comes back to life in general, bro. Confidence is key, bro. Um, back to back to the business standpoint. I've been in situations where where I'm in a room. When I worked in construction, I was in a room with people who were in their trade longer than I was, bro. They're like 40 years old, and I'm fucking 20. You know what I mean? And these guys are looking at me like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You know what yeah. I mean? They're looking at me like, kind of ridiculing me like, yeah, you whatever, whatever. And then until I speak, and then they realize like, oh, this motherfucker knows what he's talking about. And I'm like, you guys never gave me a chance to speak. You know what I mean? Why? Because I'm young? Because because I, I feel like I, you look you think that I'm not educated you think that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about yeah I may not know what the fuck I'm talking about but I'm gonna have the confidence and make talk, you think that exactly, I know exactly make you think like oh shit this fool knows what he's talking about when in reality I'm speaking fucking gibberish <laughs> but the confidence is key bro confidence is what gets you through obstacles in life that you may feel like you can't overcome act like you've been there bro. Act like you've been there. You know what I mean? I want to tell you right now, big guy, we're about an hour and 20 minutes. Eh, if it, maybe 18 minutes with all the gibberish we've done. You drop gems. I appreciate you. And all, all of us here, we're just like, yo, <laughs> this motherfucker knows. <laughs> 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 
And yo, if you if your barber fucking your hair up, you know where to come. No, and it's funny because I just said it earlier. He posted some shit earlier, right? Yeah. And I was like, yo, hey, he posted some like some like bullshit on Insta- on Twitter, right? <laughs> He, po- he tweeted some but shit. But it's for bullshit all the he time. He tweeted some bullshit. And I said, hey, I told him, I told him, hey, kick back. I, I, rep- I reposted and I said, hey, kick back. You haven't even got a haircut yet. You're wilding out. Right? Ooh. And then, and then he's like, facts, I'll be there later. And I was like, and I literally put, I was like, motherfuckers, take notes. Like, take notes. Come to me. I'm going to get you clean. And I'm gonna put you on game. You know what I mean? Like that's, at the end of the that, day, that's it. That's the advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> that's get the fucking get stamp clean. On. I got you. That's it. We're gonna put that shit on the wall right here. <laughs> All good. Oh man, but uh, where we taking Daily Planet though? Where we taking this uh, barbershop? What's the plan, bro? Um, give us that gem. Shit, bro. So, like I said, bro, business ain't easy. Never. Man, you know this shit. Correct. Um, Dylan, Dylan's in the flesh with you. He knows this shit, bro. The business ain't easy, bro. At the end of the day, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. So, uh. so it ain't. It takes a certain fucking few to do this shit, and it's cool. I like it. You know what I mean? I like the fact that that I get pushed to my limits to the point where I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? I go home and I'm like, what am I gonna do tomorrow? You know what I mean? Like, I got problems that I gotta figure out. How the fuck am I gonna figure them out? You know? Um, at the end of the day. You want it to benefit you because at the end of the day, you don't do it just for fun. You do it to to somehow benefit you in the future, right? So you want you want it to benefit you in a way where in the future somehow you'll be able to to live comfortable, yeah. To 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 have a house, you know what I mean? To have a family, to provide for your family, have kids, you know. Provide what I mean? for you when you're not even here. Exactly, bro. Like for me, I'm I'm single. I have no kids, no girl. That you know of, <laughs> and for real, no, nah. no, 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 no. So that's the thing. For yeah. me, is I want kids. I do. Yeah. I want a family. I want a big ass fucking wedding. Yeah, you know what I mean. I want that shit to be banda, fucking party all night. We're gonna podcast that shit too. We're gonna be there with the banda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dime yeah. Like, tus in the middle of everything, like, hey, let me ask you a quick question. <laughs> so, so let me tell you, once you start singing, yeah, so. I want all that, bro. I yeah. want, I want, I want that life. You know, that life of 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 joy, of happiness. Of, want, of I got my kids to look forward to. I go, I go to work. I go home to my kids. I go home to my wife. Yeah, I want all that. But how do you, how do you get to that? You gotta make sure you build something. You gotta make sure you build something, to the point where, where a woman, girl, I, there's girls and there's women, Thanks. right? A woman doesn't want. Something that's not certain. A woman wants sec- uh, security, uh, stability, stability. Oof. A woman yeah. wants stability. Girls don't give a fuck what the fuck you have. You want the moment. Yeah. Women want stability. If you get it for women the day. want to know this guy can handle me. One, this guy can take care of me. Two, this guy can build something for the future. You know, I'm young, bro. I can't provide that right now. Yeah. I'll be the first to admit You're I'm building not yourself. Of, but I don't have my own house. Like, for me, it's like, how am I going to date someone if I don't have anything to provide for them? You're literally working on you in the process. I have to work on myself. Exactly. I have to work on myself, get myself to a point where I can offer me and what I have, certain assets, certain things. I have that to offer to a woman. Because at the end of the day, I've fucked around. I've dated many girls. And I say girls. I've dated many girls, you know. I want a woman in my life eventually to share, you know, to sh- oh, I, oh, never mind. I thought it was closed. <laughs> I want a woman I I want a woman to share my 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 wealth, my life, you know what I mean? Share it moments, experiences, yeah. and, like like you know, just certain shit. And at the end of the day, it's like how do I how do I how can I get that if I don't even have anything to offer first? I got to fix myself first to get to that. You know what I mean? So I told myself, even if it takes five five years. Patience. Patience is key. F- work on myself. Build a foundation. Yep. Everything else will fall f- perfect. You know what I mean? So well, let me tell you right now, big guy. We did break the record. Longest podcast we've had <laughs> to yet. <laughs> but, again, it doesn't do it justice. There's a lot more 
to be said and, and Damn, to bro. still talk about. But this is the thing, and for everybody listening, is you got to have those conversations with the people close to you to understand who they really are and where they come from. Everybody always has a story. It's crazy that you say that because, because you don't really know who, you, like, the people in your life. Yeah. You, you don't know them until you You don't really know them until you know them. Until like, you know I, them. Like, for, for instance, bring up a perfect example. I got a, my, my sister has a, a son, uh -huh. right? His name is Jonathan. He he grew up calling me my, his older brother, so I see him as like my little brother, right? He's seventeen now, but we're eight years apart. So when I was fifteen, he was seven. Yeah, right? he's always looked up to me. I've always tried to set the example. I've always tried to toughen him up. I played football, you know. I've I was I guess you could say a jock. We were we were we were yeah we were the people that that we everyone knew us. Yeah, in high school because we had a sick ass fucking football team. Yeah. You know what I mean? We we unfortunately we didn't fucking win it all, but we went all the way to CIF championships. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's not the point. The point is the point is I was a certain person in high school that I tried to make my little brother into that person. I said I want you to follow my steps. I want you to be a fucking athlete. I want you to be a jock, and 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 I never realized that. He's his own fucking person. Yeah. I can't mold him Everybody into is. how I want him to be. You know what taught me that? COVID. When, when, when COVID hit, I was forced to be at home. I spent more time with him. Yeah. And I realized who he was. I thought I knew him. He was COVID two years ago. He was 15. I've known him for 15 years, right? I, this is 2020, COVID. I've known him for 15 years. I think I know who he is. I had no shot. No, 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 no fucking hint of who he was. I started realizing the music he liked. I started realizing the interests he had, the person he was. And then when I realized that, I said, I didn't fucking know you. Yeah. Until now, you know, and it, and, and I remember 2020 Thanksgiving. We yeah. we our Thanksgivings, bro. Uh, we we usually do. We'll have a big Thanksgiving. And what we'll do is we'll go around the table and say, what are you thankful for? Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's, hey, I'm thankful for life. Fuck it, cool. <laughs> you know? Or some people bring out some real shit. Yeah. Everyone, I remember everyone said that COVID 2020 was bullshit. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. We had to deal with some bullshit, this and that. Yeah. Unfortunately this, unfortunately that. Everyone talked down on COVID, bro. And I was the last person to talk, and I said this. I remember I told them, everyone here said COVID was a bad thing. It was a great thing. I'm here to disagree with all of y'all. It was a great thing. Right? Yeah. It was a great thing because, one, we've never been in a situation like this, and we're here now. Yeah. I'm not saying it's over, but we've well, we've overcome obstacles that we've never been pushed through. Kids had to go through fucking Zoom classes. We had to adjust our work life, the daily our personal life, life. The daily life was different. And where are we at now? We fucking made it through. So Mama, we me, made it. Yeah. So for me, it's like I told him I was like, you guys all said COVID was a bad thing. I disagree. Yeah. I think COVID was a good thing. Granted, people, you know, died. People have gotten sick, but COVID was a good thing. It yeah. taught us how to adjust, reevaluate life, and become a better person. And with with that being said, bro, everyone was like, oh shit. You know what I mean? You learn shit, you adapt, and you move forward, and you become a better person. You know what I mean? God damn. One more time. <laughs> if you lasted this long on the podcast, you got to hit the fucking subscribes. We appreciate you for yeah. sticking this long, but we're throwing we're throwing some facts out here right now. First off, real quick, toast. Oh, shit. Toast. Hold on, hold is, on. This is called the Toast to Life podcast, right? So we're going to make a toast. We are, we are. We're going to make a toast real quick. Hey, that's a big ass shot. He ain't playing. Uh, he ain't playing. Fucking Dusko ain't playing, bro. Hey, but you know what? Toast. Toast uh, to opportunities, right? To opportunities, growth, and an abundance of fucking wealth, happiness, and Wait, just we, all in general life. Oh, that means are we, are we gonna take another one before we end this? Oh yeah, for sure. This okay. is just this is just like because we turned the camera back on. This is. <laughs> You know what so I mean? So if you're just yeah. tuning in this late, 
Get get whatever cup you got right now next yeah, to you, whatever drink. Put that shit up. A, we support the H two O. To fu- a toast to fuck. Benny's back in. Benny, you want to come in real quick? Say what's cracking. Say what's up, Benny. <laughs> what's up? You got it. The you camera right, right here, Benny. Right come on, man. Hey. Say what's hey. up. Say what's up. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> follow the Blackstone Owl if y'all don't already do. Follow the Blackstone Owl. That's my boy. Whatever y'all need, games, fucking collectibles, everything. Whatever, my whatever boy got it. Got follow it. my boy. But, so, but. Just like the pocket, this is a toast to life, a man. Toast, uh, literally, let's. This let's, is a, literally yeah. a toast to life. Hey, a toast to fucking life. Appreciate everybody That's here. That's what it is. There it is. <clears throat> I guess it is getting easier and easier. But it is though, huh? Uh, but what are we talking about right now? A lot. So, just because our our main man over there was like, "Yo, throw this on there." Ooh. You run that shit too short, bro. <laughs> Damn! He said Russell Westbrook. Oh, hey. it works! <laughs> hey, so, so we're we're throwing out the before outside of camera. We're throwing out numbers, but the one thing that. For the viewers that if you're watching right now, subscribers, everybody, yo, like our gift, your environment is very is has to be important. You gotta protect your environment. There's a maybe there's a lot of people in let's put it like this. Maybe there's a lot of people in your grass field. You gotta cut the grass. Yep. There's a lot of snakes in there. You gotta okay. trim that shit down. You gotta see who's really really out there. You gotta get them out your life. Whether they show you a good time or and, not, bro. And, and see who's with it, though. You know when times I mean? get tough. When time gets tough. When time gets tough. Who is still there? Who is he still he battling looking, with you? He ain't, he ain't even, even looking, looking, but he ain't even looking. right there. He's on his phone. But, but hey, I appreciate you. Hey, I appreciate you. <laughs> but, you know, and the, 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 biggest, the biggest thing is... You have to be, you have to be, con- I'm going to say you have to be content with, with what's around you because when you get satisfied with what's around you, you, you just stop going for more. Yeah. You know, I'm content. I'm good where I'm at, but I've always you wanted you more. Shouldn't, you shouldn't be stagnant. Never. You should always want to push yourself to be better. And the biggest thing is you got to push the people around you to do better. The reason why is because not only do you feed off of the people who are around you, but they feed off of you. So nice. if you're around people that don't want to move up, yeah. you're gonna be the same person. If you push yourself, if you hang around with fucking, if you're a millionaire and you hang around with billionaires, you're gonna eventually be a fucking billionaire. You know what sure. I mean? If you hang out with fucking thousandaires, you're gonna go back down. You know what I mean? You want to push yourself. You want to. You want to be the weakest link in your circle, so that you can push yourself to be. The highest one, you know me, what I mean. Let me tell you this, bro. There, there's one thing that I've I've always said, and I've told him. Oh, he getting a call. No, I thought my, my music was playing, but I was trying. <laughs> there's it's my boy Dylan. He's in the back in the <laughs> hey, hey behind the scenes. My boy, my boy Dylan, thing. he working. Yeah. There, there's one thing like that. Actually, Vic Blend said it is when we walk into whatever place it is, you don't know who the CEO is. All my brothers shine the same. Exactly, bro. They, we all shine the same. And I'm doing it. We all doing, doing it. it. And this you is one I mean? thing that I've I've told him, I told everybody, you know, even even Brittany, my girlfriend. It's like, yo, like th- this shit here is Soon gonna to pay be off. wife. If my money's right, hell yeah. Jeez. I want a big one. Hey. I want a Brittany, big one. If you're tuning in, my boy got to get his funny, I mean his money up. Not his funny up, <laughs> but you're gonna hey, you're gonna be a wife, girl. Don't worry about it. Nah, you you know what? One one thing that I would tell the young viewers that are very in love and, and all that stuff, you can throw a big wedding. But when you still got to go back to, like, you know, your situations to reality, it's like, yo, what's different? Yeah. You know, I, I've seen, again, because he's sitting here, I've seen my, my compadre and my sister from the gutter. Yeah. They did, they did something back, huge. Hey, back when y'all was running a mug, huh? Huge. When we were running a mug. Woo. Hey, we, I mean, he's, but, told me, he's told me shit. But let, 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 me shine, let, me, let me shine some light on, on, this, on this part because, you know, they've had my beautiful nieces. I, blessedly, I became a Nino, the first one. That's cool. And gutter, bro. 
he, they literally took a sacrifice to for someone to finish school. They did it. They fucking did it. Shout out, Jackie. Shout out. <laughs> did more. Yeah. My yeah. my man here. With, I don't even have a degree. Do you have a degree? Fuck no. My man here don't even have a degree either. I don't even know what the fuck a degree is. This will this will <laughs> running the city. Yeah, 100%. because he worked at four different at the same 100%. time, and my he boy's did doing it. Doing his thing, and he did it. Yep. So my thing is life. What is the purpose? What is your goal? What it, like? What are you doing to take care of the people around you? And Cindy said it best the other day, and I agree with her. It's like, yo, someone has to lead, you know. But the support around you has has to follow through. But see, with the fact that someone leading, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're in a higher position. Never. Than it just means Never. that they're taking control. They're going to, you know, I'll take, take the initiative. Hits. You know what I mean? But it doesn't necessarily mean that the leader's the best. The leader should be able to do what everyone else in the pack can do. <laughs> if, the, if, if, you, if you as a leader, because I've been in a position where I'm a leader, if I ask Brian to do something, yeah. I can't do it. Why the fuck would I ask him to do it? Yeah. You know what I mean? I got to be able to, sh- hey, I can't do it. Well, let me show you how it's done. You know what I mean? We're all and the that, same, bro. Exactly. At the end of the day, it's like at how the end they- of the day, we're, we, I want him to be in, in a position where, I'm, I want to say my position because I don't want it to sound like that. I don't yeah. want it to sound cocky. I don't want it to sound, you know, con- whatever the fuck case may be. I want him to be in a position where he feels, hey, I moved up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Brian, I need you to handle this, handle this, handle that. Fuck, I don't know how. Well, let me show you how it's done. Yeah. You know what I mean? Come on. Uh, let me that, see. That, that was literally, uh, actually me and him, You because when we go to podcasts, me and him go together, we ride together. And it was he was like, yo, what do you want me to do? I was like, yo, I got this. I was like, you set that one up. You know how to do that one. I was like, I got this one. We both we're both doing the work. Yeah. Right now is the same thing. It's like, yo, let me just teach you how to do this. So you have this under your two belt. Yeah. Biggest thing is when leading a pack, when leading a group, when being quote unquote, whatever title you want to fucking give yourself. It's like, yo, I still know how to do that job. With or without you, I still know how to do that job. I just want to give you that two under your belt. Yo, let's feed off of this shit. Let's create this fucking environment. Let's create this circle that when we all walk in together, people know us. We walked into to a different city, different area code, all together, bro. It was like, what, And fucking two, put three, your fucking flag down. Six of us were in there, and everybody was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm like, this is us. Yeah. We walked into Malibu. Walked in with, you know, whatever what you want to call or, them. Or, or Oxnard, when you guys went to the, to, what is it, the gym? People know us. People knew who we were. Bro. Or and and if and if they didn't, I had that shit on my back. Okay, but people, read people, it. People with a bigger platform reached out, like La Puente SGV, right? The, yeah. The, 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 their, their Shout Instagram out page. La Puente SGV, bro. Hey, I appreciate they, you guys. They, fucking they, day they one, they reached out, bro. Yes, you seen the following they had? They reached out and said, whenever you do someone that's in the SGV, yeah, hit us up. We'll Literally go. in their page, they put doing it from our own SGV, putting putting our very own on. I'm like, yo, I never even thought about that. When you have people that are in a bigger platform than you, because there's always going to be people that have a a higher voice. Facts. And that's fine. That's fine. There's always going to be someone out there that's bigger. You want to be in their shoes. They reaching out to you, you're making an impact. You know what I mean? You're making an impact. You're putting down your fucking staple. You're putting down your flag. And you're showing, hey, I'm here for the long run. I'm here to fucking change lives. They hear you. La Puente SGV. They heard you. And what did they do? They contacted you. Yeah. They said, hey, next time you have someone from the SGV, let us know. We'll have we'll help you promote it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you right now, big guy. After this podcast, when it premieres, you're gonna have some people to be like, bro, you fucking changed me. We had some we went to that gym. We went we we went to go feedback. We went to go give back. Not even give back. We wanna go support. I see we, you work out. Yeah, we want to go support. And he was like, yo, we how did that? Fucking little ab twist. Right? I seen that shit. I, I seen that shit. My boy was planking doing his ab twist. I said, I said, hold on. Dude's going to do that? We went, he got the abs. He's we, hiding under that T-shirt. We was went, it extra large? 
It said large. It's a, it's so large. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. This is medium. Medium. Nah, hey, How much of my but diet? My boy, my boy doing this thing. You know what I mean? He shows so support. We went, we went to Oxnard, right? We went to Oxnard. We showed support over there. And they, they embraced us. Exactly, he was like, bro. yo, how did the podcast? I was like, yo, the best one, bro. People listen. People watch. Because I'm going to tell you this. Two people were going to another state to start a new career. They listened to the podcast. And you know what they told me? It's like they listened to it. And they, they didn't go. They changed what they were going to do. And I'm like, wow, that's fucking powerful. Whether it may be for the good or the bad, the fact is you had an impact on someone to reroute their life, to reroute their moves. Yeah. Because why? You had the voice. You put, you put but, some sort of content out that made them realize, hold on, hold on, hold on. I put the content out for the actual kings to fucking speak. May may. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I appreciate that, but, no, but it, this isn't about me. At the end, it it's is. not about me. Yeah. It's not. It's about the people who are listening and can feed off of this. The fact that I, I have the opportunity and the privilege to be out here and, and speak myself, speak my voice, yeah. my my, my uh, 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 story. You know, story, it may help someone else. And that's the end of the day. At the end of the day, I'm a barber, bro. I cut good hair. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Yes, sir. To the fact that I cut good hair. I cut good fucking hair. But that's not the only thing I do. I lend the fucking ear out. I lend the fucking a uh, 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 a tip. You know, I lend. I lend. You know, advice. At the end of the day, if I can make someone in my chair a better person for the next day, that's all I give a fuck about. You know what I mean? Yes, and sir. And that's what this podcast is about. This podcast is not about me. It's about the next person. Next, the person that's up next. If this is your if, calling, if they're listening right if now, if they're listening right them. now, if you're listening right now and this is your calling to say, fuck it, I'm gonna do it, do it 100% do it. 100%, it's not easy, don't get me wrong. You're gonna be down, you're gonna be fucking on your back, but at the end of the day, you're doing it. People have not done it because they're scared to, and you're not. You just took the jump. You know what I mean? It's not about me, it's not. God, I appreciate Dude. the fact that I'm here, Dude. but it's not. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, 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 for sure. So, again, if you lasted this song, and I appreciate every single one that lasted <laughs> this song, you got to subscribe, you got to follow, got to follow Daily Planet, you got to follow Aldo on his own personal page. We'll it put the link Aldo. <laughs> just, it just used send. to be Issue Boy, but now it's Illist it, Aldo. Illist Aldo. You know what I Yo, mean? Yo, comment, you comment there your, your best part of the podcast. Comment there. What else do you want to know? You want a part two? You want whatever else? You got to comment, get feedback. Because oh, we, we go do off, a part two. Because we go off of what you <laughs> guys see. Trust me, there's a lot more to be said on here. Oh, but, 100%. you know, I got to give the flowers to the main man, bro. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you. And this is, I think, the fourth time we ever met again. And since day one, the energy has been impeccable. It's been undeniable. See, the thing is, you Ooh. shouldn't appreciate me. I appreciate you for giving me the platform that you gave me. Because at the end of the day, us as a team are making someone a better person. You know what I mean? Fuck the podcast. Fuck my barbering. Them, they're going to become a better person because they hurt us. You know what I mean? Pour up the fucking shot. Let's end this. <laughs> that <laughs> was a good one. Shot. Let's, fucking, yeah. let's seal the yeah. fucking deal, bro. Let's go. Hey, if you're listening. One more. If you're listening right now, That's do good. what the fuck you want to do. Make your fucking life good. Make yourself happy. If you feel like it's not going to go your way, if you feel like it's you're scared, fuck it. That's the best time you should jump in. I, I said it this week. If, you, if you're heartbroken, if you're sad, if you feel bad about your job, bro, gross. no one's going to come and fucking get you. I seen that. Get your, I seen that. Get your fucking ass up. Get and your it yourself, ass up. Bro. Do it yourself. Yes, no one's going to come get you. Miguel, did anybody no come one, get you when you're feeling no down? No one gives a fuck. Did anybody come get you? Did anybody come hey, save you? No one can save no you. No one gives a fuck what's going on in your life. Nobody. No one cares the fact that you're broke. No one cares the fact that you can't do it. No one cares the fact that you're depressed. No one gives a fuck. I promise you that. No. You need to be the one in your own life to say, I'm going to make a change. I'm going to fix myself. I'm going to better mm. myself. Take, yes, sir. take charge in your own, bro. Take charge in your own because at the end of the day, you're going to go into the fucking dirt by yourself. You only got you, and you can only be the best version of you. Exactly, bro. Say no more. And toast the fucking I'll life. To that, yes, bro. sir. Tune in.
what I'm saying? Like, you, you, one thing that you have to, like, honestly just realize, bro, like, you created something. That's what I get my cut. It's cool. You, 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 create, you created something that, uh, it's, it's off right now. You created something that, you know, not many do, bro. And you still have a lot to say in what, how we just said earlier. Like, a lot of people don't understand that, yo, like, it's taking me a lot to be here. Yeah. I had to go through a lot. I had to go through Ooh. trials and tribulations. Yeah, what do you mean? Nah, cool. but that's the one thing that I, that, like I said earlier, like, you might, you may not, I may not show it on camera, but I was nervous, bro. I was ah. nervous. I was nervous. I didn't know what the fuck, I, I didn't know what the fuck to expect. I was I was excited because this is something new. I got good feedback. Like people that go, they're like, "Oh hell yeah!" Not only that, boy, when you call me on, the chill is fine. Hey, Dick, but I learned the fuck. Be you, Dick. Be you. You know what I mean? Uh, that's why I wanted people that I'm comfortable with here, cause, cause like, bro, you it's guys weren't yeah. you guys weren't in it, but I'm speaking what I feel, and I'm not. I'm in my head. I'm like, these fools, these fools yeah. aren't judging me. I mean, yeah. these people are like, oh shit. Like, they're, if anything, they're learning about me. Like, oh, what the fuck? Like, this is real. Like, oh, you know what I mean? Learning more. Yeah. And, and then, you know, this is just, you know, I'm talking to shit. What's up? Yeah, bro. The, like, the biggest thing, bro, and one of, the, one of the things adding to the whole everything you just said, like, when you have, and for the podcast, when you have people here, and it's not just like anybody, right? Because I posted, yo, if you want a chair, 10 bucks, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone was like, yo. You should do it for free. I'm like, yo, but th- this is letting you into our circle. Yeah, yeah. This, this is, is letting you into the environment. I feel that, like if random people would have been here, I would have been like a little, yeah, like, a little weirder. You know what I mean? Like, these people don't know me, and I'm yeah. opening up. You know what I mean? I got my boys, bro. Like, yeah, you're comfortable me and this we used to call each other cousins, bro. Yeah. Because people would say like, these motherfuckers look yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean? And I'm like, yeah, that's my, that's my cousin. That's my cousin. <laughs> people believed that we were cousins. Yeah. yeah. Like that, I didn't. To the yeah. team, bro. Yeah. That's the thing, crazy, right? Bro. So, bringing it back to like what you said, free, right? It's, again, no offense. Yo, sometimes we gotta do stuff for free to get a yeah. bigger outcome. But it's like, yo, we're letting you into the environment that we created. Yeah. This isn't like what we get here is not energy that you just get randomly. Like, ah, we're out. Nah, bro. This it's is. not for everybody. This, exactly. It isn't for everybody. To bring up, I was just talking about earlier, we've had people that it's like, yo, unfortunately, I gotta get you out of here. Yeah. Like, I, I brought people into my circle. The circle has came, and I'm like, yo, like, when everybody's there, like, yo, you gotta, yeah. I can't have you no more. How I said, someone told me, protect your environment. Yeah, you have to, because at the end of the day, the people that are around you is what you, you know, you kind of lean on, you, you, you feed off of. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Like, like, if you got you, snakes you, around you, you bro, bro, and, Exactly, bro. Like, like for me, you don't want people to walk so in and be like, ah, fuck one thing, and they're probably gonna hear this for the first time ever, bro. And I don't mean it any way because you guys are here now. But I graduated high school, didn't didn't keep in contact with nobody. I said if they want to, they can contact me, yeah. right? No one did. Yeah. No one did. Now I got my boys here, right? They came to my my birthday, bro. I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, yo, these fools really like they do fuck with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not, it wasn't something fake. It was, like, this fool was literally, I don't mean to put your shit off, but he was literally on a date. He went out with a girl, did his thing, and he said at the end of the day, hey, where you at? You, yeah, you at all those? Yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna pull up. He pulled up at 3 a.m., probably 4 a.m. Still pulled up, though. He said, he had, he had, to, he had to say happy birthday to me. And, and that, to me, means fucking the world. the world, bro. You know what I mean? Because... There's people that I thought were my homies, right? And I don't mean to drop names, but say, for instance, who was I close with in high school? If you can name one person, who was I really close with in high school? Never even said happy birthday to me. Joey, none of them said happy birthday to me. None of them said happy birthday to me. These motherfuckers were here in the flesh talking about, yo, let me take a shot with you. Yo, what's up? What's cracking with you? Let me get a hug. No, you know what I mean? Happy no birthday. One, no one comes to look for you until they need something. Exactly, bro. And they don't need nothing. They're here, though. You know what I mean? They already got what they needed. What's up, huh? They already got what they needed. They got a haircut. Hey, Nalo, spark it up, dude. Ha ha! Like I said, they already got what they needed. This fool got a fresh cut. He got a fresh cut. Yeah, we were supposed to go out, and we're still gonna. I told you, what's up with Ola? 
right? Because he's down. He's down, but they could have they could have been out already. Yeah. They could have been out already, but they're still here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why? It shows that they fuck with me. You know what I mean? Like, let me see, let me fuck with this boy. I appreciate that. That shit goes that shit goes it doesn't go unnoticed. It goes on, you know bro. I mean?